To the channel guys and if you haven't joined us before we are roaming with the richards or at least tonight's gonna i am roaming with the richards i'm jonathan um my wife angel or otherwise i'll say angelica at times is not here with me tonight but tonight we are here at carowinds for their opening night for scare with um and it's also friday the 13th so all those super Supernatural can probably come out tonight here at Scarewinds. And the main focus is Fright Lane. Now, Fright Lane gets you into each house one time without, uh, as far as skipping the lines. And then you can also ride as many rides as you want that is open for the uh, park that's open throughout the night. You get to ride them as many times as you want by skipping the lines because it also comes with the fast lane. Um, the total cost is $82 and it's all it is is this which is the fright lane and the fast pass so uh, let's see what all we can accomplish and see if it's worth it kind of main strip of the park as soon as you enter right here at this coffin display and they've also got other kind of neat trinkets that you can get that's all light up pretty much. So in the main gift shop area, they also have um, another display for Scarewinds merch, like this interactive lantern that you can buy. I think that's called Squishmallows, Candy Corn, a Jack-O-Lantern, a ghost and a black cat. 
What's going on guys? We are here at Scarewinds for the opening night here on Friday the 13th. We just ran in uh, with Jay from Big Ventures. Did I say that right? That's right, Big Ventures. Right. Um, we just ran into them as well. Definitely uh, check them out. We're going to put their link in the uh, description below to help them out. Follow them and uh, hit the, that notification bell for them as well and catch their uh, Scarewinds video as well. All right, guys, so the opening show was like an hour after the park opened, but it really kind of, like, the first hour more so really kind of felt like, more like Scarewinds, and then like kind of transitioning, transitioning to Scarewinds. Um, I wonder if that's gonna be dealing with, uh, with the fact that on Saturdays, and I believe Sundays, just not this Sunday, that it's going to be three events, one price ticket, and they're not shutting down the park at all when they transition from Carowinds to Scarewinds on the on those weekend days. Um, but outside of that, the opening show started at seven, so it looks feels like okay, Scarewinds should be in full swing. We're going to go over to the first house. We depending on the line, we may not use the right lane and I don't think kind of hold off until it gets a little bit more busier on that and just head straight towards Toothberry. All right, so the uh just waiting in the regular line since it's like still early on during the day or during the evening. It was only like a minute and a half wait. So uh, we didn't use the fast pass on the tooth fairy just yet. So we still have that one to go. But we've got not just one, but two houses. Cause I didn't, I forgot to mention like when we first were, when we were kind of having to wait on the uh, next, like as far as the opening show, we ended up was we went ahead and went through Slaughterhouse then. So already we went through two houses and we still can be able to go through all of them again using the Fright Lake. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with Paranormal. We're gonna uh, just more so go through the regular line right now, see how long we had to wait, where the park is still, it's still very early on, and then uh, go in and probably later on do the Fright Lane Pass. All right, so you see how the line is kind of backing up now. The wait that we had was like almost 11 minutes. And so we're still, again, once again, we're still able to go back through this with the fright lane. And the later it gets, this, the more backed up this uh, haunted house gets. Hello, friends. It's how very nice to see you all tonight. All right, so over here by the Carousel Park and the Carowinds Theater, time to catch the first showing of the waking dead or wake the dead all right guys so we just got out of the uh, the wake the dead um again this time frame since this is the second time i've seen it now i've now got seen two different endings um first time frame was lilith the second time frame was, I think her name is Baby. So both endings, I mean, this is still a really fun show. Still recommend go, doing it. But now, since it's getting darker, we're going to show off a little bit more of, uh, kind of walk through some of the scare zones. Maybe show a little bit. I'm not really going to show all that because we already did that. But we're going to definitely now uh, kick in with our fast passes because now the park is getting a lot busier for this Friday the 13th. All right, walking towards the silver screen, and that means we have to go through the blood yard. Really like that shot of Hurler in the background, though.
Alrighty, so uh, Silver Scream is now off the list for us tonight with the Fright Lane Pass because where we've already used it. So what they do, I'm gonna flip it over. It's got all the house's name on the back of the pass. And uh, each time from you use it, they use a hole punch just to kind of punch it out, saying there you can't use it again for that house. Uh, we did go through the house twice tonight as well. Um, kind of back to back, but we also seen like a bunch of scare actors come in and we're like, all right, let's just go ahead and use the fright lane. Definitely this time and go ahead and skip the line. The line's still not really bad. It's actually not that busy for Friday the 13th. Um, so I'm wondering if Saturday, like tomorrow night is going to be really slam packed, given it back. It's an all day event completely. Um, but outside of that, Silver Scream is still one of the best houses here as far as like it's top notch to me. All right, so we're gonna go check out the line for Slaughterhouse, and guess what? This is where we got it. Glad we already went through the queue, regular queue line once tonight because it's already slam packed. This is, again, an instant classic here. So we're just gonna go through the point length. All right, just got all right, just got out of slaughterhouse, and thankfully, because of the again the fright lane pass, you can see there's two holes punched now. Um, what would have been probably about a 15, maybe 20 minute, 30 minute wait, roughly. I don't know, kind of hard to say, but the line was really far back. We got walk on, which is great, even though, like, like I said, it's still not that crowded, but I can just tell you. Even though it's not crowded tonight for opening night, the closer to Halloween you're gonna it gets, the more crowded it's gonna get, the better this is gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next house. So here's one thing that we didn't get to see during, or more so smell during the preview night, and that is the fog machines in each of the scare zones have a different kind of scent when you go in them. For instance, Harvest Beer right behind me has the smell of caramel apples that kind of fit the vibe over in the county fair area. Now to go ahead and inform you as well, um, this area, Camp Snoopy, the only thing is in it is the haunted maze or the haunted house. Um, all the rides are shut down. This whole entire area is pretty much shut down. You can still walk through it, but it's pretty much just to get to the haunted house, and that's it. All right, guys. So since depths of dark, we just now finished depths of darkness. Uh, we've only got two more houses to go using the uh, fright lane. But then also on top of that, again, we have all of the fast lane rides that we can want to ride for the rest of the night. So uh, I think the next direction we're going to go is going to be towards Tooth Fairy. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lobotomy's Oddity. Watch out for the clowns because I don't control them. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lobotomy's Oddity. Watch out for the clowns because I 
Can you talk? No. You can't talk? Oh, well, it's okay. I talk enough for the both of us. I like to talk all the time. The bugs in my head, they're always talking all the time. And there's also an orchestra going on. And so it's like, da 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 But it changes. And then they're arguing because, you know, the bugs just don't get along because there's different kinds of bugs. And then I'm trying to talk and they're like, yeah! You know? So it's okay. You don't have to talk. Go back towards Tooth Fairy. This time, do the Fright Lane. All right, so just kind of give a little bit more of an update. We've uh, already hit five. We well, went through five houses total. Well, so therefore, we've already went through all the houses on the Fright Lane Pass. We've only got one more house we can go through. And that's paranormal. We practically went through every single house twice, except for Depths of Darkness and Paranormal, which, which we're about to do here soon. Um, in the meantime, but we've also gotten both shows that Scarewinds offers. We've hit, we tried to ride Blue Blasters, but unfortunately it broke down like midway through that ride. Um, but outside of that, I mean, with the crowds not being as heavy here on opening night, it's like not actually that bad here, but you can also can tell the lines are starting to back up more and more at the haunted houses. So it's like, even if you get the uh, passes, I would almost recommend hold off a little bit later. Don't, as far as using them, if you can just wait another like if you can wait about 10 minutes wait if you want to try to hit everything this this is like a lifesaver um to complete pretty much see everything that the park has to offer including the skeleton buddy that's right behind me so over here at uh granny's ice cream shop you can actually get a scarewinds ice cream treat which is a wicked cone of black ice cream topped with a strawberry glaze 
Well, we didn't, weren't able to get it in a cone, but we were able to get it in a cup. So this is what the ice cream actually looks like. Um, so the strawberry glaze that's kind of laying on top, it's really neat how they, how they laid it out because it really looks like blood, especially in this lighting in the gaming area right next to it, uh, Granny Smith. Granny's ice cream, not Granny Smith, that's an apple. All right guys, so uh, with the time winding down on how much time we got left here in the park and the line for paranormal is building up, we're just gonna go ahead and use our last Fright Lane Pass. We go ahead and go inside Aiden Hill. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us tonight. We were able to uh, hit all the houses twice, except for uh, Depths of Darkness. Really, kind of all thanks of the Fright Lane Pass. As you can tell, we hit all four, and this is what the uh, goal would look like using it. Um, definitely recommend getting it. It really makes it a lot easier to go through each of the house. And if it wasn't still that bad of a uh, night, you're probably going to be able to hit it more than once and if the line didn't back up you just got that to help you out if not you pretty much was able to go through the line and hold on to it later on in the night when it starts getting a lot more busier um and then if you did use it pretty quickly you would have the fast lane or you can use the fast lane passes actually earlier on uh, we just kind of took in the scare zones and each house so we didn't really use um, the fast lane passes at all, really. Um, but outside of that, I mean, we really enjoyed everything that Scarewinds had to offer this year. We recommend everybody to make sure they can try to attend this event and uh, keep it going strong. And uh, really glad we was able to spend Scarewinds here for Friday the 13th. But if y'all can help us out, if y'all really like the video, hit that like button. Also, uh, help us out by subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified for our next video. And we'll catch y'all next time. Later.